after much speculation for the 2024 season, the Canadian Tom Tehera finally speaks. In an interview she did with Athletics Weekly, we leave a link in the description below. So let's take a listen and then let's discuss Elaine Thompson Hera in her own words. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button. We get to go leave the hit notification bell so you know the next video drops. You drop a video each once a day here, Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, you ready? Yeah. Good to go. Well, finally, after much speculation, rumors, and rumors of rumors, Elaine Thompson Hera, in an interview with Athletics Weekly, finally talks about her state of mind, her readiness for the Paris Olympic Games, her health, and more. Now, obviously, we can't uh, have you watch the entire interview because copyright. But we are going to show you clips, and then let's talk about what Elaine Thompson Hera herself has expressed about her and the Paris 2024 season. Hi, Elaine. Hi. We are here at the track. I guess you must call home. Hi, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, um, you know, how are your preparations going for the Olympics? How are you and how's the new training setup helping? Training is going good so far. You know, the work never easy. It's always hard. It's a Olympic year. You have to put in that work and the new setup is going good so far. I'm getting accustomed to being with a new coach, getting in instruction and to follow them. But everything is going good so far, I can't complain. Is it big changes at this stage of your career or is it more about tweaks and, uh, you know, just slight adjustments here? And there? It's more about tweaks and adjustment because if you want to be great, you have to make tweaks and adjustments and I'm doing that along my career to be better each time I go, you know, to improve and to work towards my dreams and my goals. What do you work on? What do you, what do you try to improve? My speed, of course, because I've been injured for the past two years, you know, I've not made it to the world. So, so far, so good. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go, and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening. Get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. Now, as we stated, we can't show the entire interview, but keep listening. I'm definitely confident, not super, not over, but confident. And I don't want to, you know, apply too much pressure on myself as a reigning Olympic champion. Just want to stay focused and humble, have the right mindset and stay positive, of course. No matter what obstacles or struggles come in my way, I try to stay focused, you know. It's going to be a tough one this year, you know, trying to do a three-peat. So for me, it's all about just taking it race by race, make it to the trials and then Paris will speak for herself, but definitely to try to repeat that double and to be a part of history, to be the first woman to have three um, Olympic titles. So obviously what we all want to see is Elaine Tom Tehera at her very, very best. Women's 100. And that 10.54, second fastest 100 meter ever ran in history by a woman. Of course, only woman faster is the world record holder, the remarkable uh, Florence Griffin to join them. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Um, first of all, I want to pick up Athletic Weekly because there's been so much speculation and speculation and speculation and rumors and rumors of this, that, that. So let's go through this. Now, first, let me just say I am uh, not trained in reading someone's body language, but let's talk. First up, she looks relaxed. She doesn't look stressed. 
I've seen interviews where she looked, you know, stressed and uh, in discomfort. She doesn't seem to be in any discomfort uh, there. However, I have to point out to you that in 2021, when she was clearly, when she was rebound in a lot of discomfort, she did a few interviews and seemed just as calm and just as cool. But I honestly get the impression that she, she's all right. She seems to be adjusting well to her training situation. She seems to be satisfied. And of course, with all that she's saying, we can only see the proof at national championships. And like I said, and I've said in several videos this year, it's all about the Paris Olympic Games, certainly for all top tier athletes. And she is top of the top of the top. She is the WWE Olympic champion in the women's 100 and 200 meters and the fastest woman alive in the 100 meters and one of the top three fastest women all time in 200 meters. So this is an exceptional talent. But there are aspects of the interview that I wasn't able to show you. So at one point she did discuss her age. Basically she was saying that when she was younger, she was able to recover from injury much faster, much easier. Um, but now that she's in her, I think she's about 31, if my memory serves me correctly, it's, she's not recovering as quickly. So she has to be much more cautious. She has to take better care of herself. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave a link so you can watch it, the, the, the interview yourself. What I did also notice is the maturity. You know, obviously, she's 31 years of age. She's not a child. Um, very mature in terms of her answers. Answers were well thought out, uh, contemplative, and they come across as sincere. So it appears as if she's in good stead. It appears as if she is satisfied with where she is at. She says her confidence is building. She spoke very, very clearly about building back her speed because over the last two years of injury, she has lost that speed. We saw her getting better and better. Last year, she closed her season with that former coach um, running 10.79, which was pretty solid, um, but nothing close to 10.54. So clearly, she needs to get back to 10.54 speed. And the truth is, if she gets back to 10.54, 10.54 speed. There's no one on earth who can do that. There's really no athlete right now that I think that can execute 10.54. Um, possibly Shelly. Uh, I know the Americans are going to want to say Shakira Richardson, but 10.65 feet and 10.54, they're unrelated. They have nothing to do with each other. Um, not impossible, but highly improbable. But what I'm happy about is that she seems okay. We will not know how well she's running until we actually see her run, but she seems okay. And she, with this one interview, removed all the all the, the speculations and the rumors and the exaggerations of her being in so much pain and agony that she can't even move. And I'm happy that she seems to be okay. But you know what? This, of course, is my two cents. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, a little bit of the interview that you saw. What do you think? Some of you might have seen the entire interview. So, what do you think? What do you feel? Do you feel she is being sincere? Do you feel that everything is all right? Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button. Remember, you're royal, so kings and queens. Bless up.